What if I'm going to tell you if you can learn Java in just 60 second? You must be thinking like I'm mad, right? But I am not. Because Java is making this language as easy as it can be, just like any other scripting language like Python. I'm going to give you two examples right now. In the first example, I'm going to print hello world to the console. In the second example, I'm going to take dynamic input from an user and I'm going to print the given input to the console. So if you're a beginner, you can use all these features to write standalone application or where you need to write quick code, you can use all these features. And if you're an experienced, just watch this out and tell me how all these things are working because end of the day, these are new features of Java. So here I am on my IntelliJ. I have a project here called Implicit Class. If you're a beginner, you can go to your notepad and create a file. So I'm gonna create a file right now over here on my IDE and I'm gonna click here on a file. And the file name can be anything, but you need to make sure that you are giving a .java extension because you're gonna be writing Java code. So I'll be writing here first program .java, right? So let me expand this. Okay, so let's just go with our first example that is print something to the console. And this is going to be as easy as ever. So I'm just going to write print and I'm gonna write hello world and that's it. <laughs> you are done. Only one thing is that it is just saying no main method. And obviously in Java, the execution starts with the main method. So you need to make sure you're wrapping this code with a main, something like this, okay? The main method starts over here and it ends over here. And there you go. And over here, you are just printing. You are not returning anything. So I'm going to just write void over here and you're good to go. And this is actually working code. No compilation error. So I'm going to execute this code right now. And let's just see whether I got something on the console. And here you go. Hello world. So our printing is actually work. Right now, let's just go with our second example. I'm gonna take input from an user and to take the input, I'm gonna use something called readLN and I'm gonna give a text to the user that what's your name and whatever the input that he is gonna give, I'm gonna read it with this readLN and I'm gonna store it with a variable and I'm gonna say username. And let's just print this username. I'm gonna write println and username. So let's just run this program. And it just says, what's your name? I'm gonna write a villas. And that's the output. It's just printing a villas. Let's just run this again. What's your name? Let's just say Krish. There you go, Chris. So this is very easy, isn't it? It's just like Python or any other scripting language. So Java is actually making things easy for the newcomers who are just studying Java for the first time. So they don't have to you know, worry about what is a class, what is access modifier, what is static, what is non-static, and all these features, Java is right now testing. It's not fully, um, you know, released. These are all in preview right now, and Java is working on it right from the Java 21 version. And right now I'm recording this video in 2025. So, so far Java is still experimenting. And if you want to run all this thing, you need to make sure that you are on your preview mode with your JDK 24 or JDK 23, okay? Now, as a senior developer, let's understand how all these things are working. So first of all, this is crazy, isn't it? Because we're just writing main method and the main method is not having public static void main uh, string arguments. It's just a instance method. And that's the new feature name, the instance main method. And that's part of the Java 21 release where you can define main method as instance. The second thing is that this code doesn't have a container, which is a class. So whenever you do not define any class, Java will create an implicit class, which will be same as your file name. Now the file name is first program. You can see right now, the icon has changed to a class, okay? And you can see it's a final runnable class. So whenever you do not define any class name, Java will create a new class, same as your file name, and that will be a final class that will be internally used by JVM. You cannot use it directly. So that's why we call it an implicit class. I'm gonna show you that class as well, how JVM is creating, but that's the feature is implicit class came in Java 21 person as a preview feature. 
but as i said java is still you know is still refining all these things and in java 23 they have added some more features that is called the automatic imports they have introduced a class called io so if you're going to see this read ln print ln all these utility methods are part of a class called io so if i'm going to hover on this you can see it is coming from uh, java.io okay and it's a preview api maybe removed in future uh, releases but it will not be removed i think so <laughs> so because the preview feature once it's settled down this will be coming as a fully fledged feature maybe in the next versions of java and java is right now having six months release so maybe who knows in the next version we're going to be getting all these things as a standard new feature so yeah so there is a class called um you know io as you can see where all these methods are existing. So if you're gonna go to read ln or print ln, uh, so if you can click on this, okay, see this read ln method, it is part of this class called IO. And if you're gonna go to this read ln method, how it works, you can see this is a preview feature, that's the annotation, okay? And this is a preview feature and the feature is implicit classes, right? This is the feature name. So if you're gonna click on this, you can see the implicit classes. There is an enum called feature in Java. So they are JDK actually maintains all the new enhancement they are doing, right? So in this enum feature, we have a lot of uh, JEP, Java or JDK enhancement proposal. And it's part of the number 495. I'm right now using Java 24 to explain you all this thing. And in Java 24, the current JEP, the number 495 is actually tagged to the implicit classes and the title simple source files and instance main method. Okay, status fourth preview. As I said, uh, you know, it started from Java 21. Java 21 uh, with JEP, you can see all the JEP numbers on the screen right now. It started with Java 21, got some more enhancement in Java 22. In Java 23, it got some more enhancement. In, and in Java 24, the Java is still making enhancements. So I'm using Java 24. So that's why the status is fourth preview, right? So I'm going to close this and close this console.java, close this io.java. This is actually coming as part of third preview. Maybe in Java 23 version only, this class io.java has been added. So this read ln and print ln are all coming from as part of the IO class. And you can also see there is no imports over here because whenever you're gonna use all these methods, there will be automatic import from Java only, okay? So how do you imagine Java is executing all this code internally? Obviously it must be wrapping it with a class and there should be imports for read ln, print ln. Whenever you're gonna do read ln, somebody is going to give a name. You are defining var over here, but internally this var will be a string, right? So let's just find it out how Java is converting all these things internally. And for that, we need to find the dot class version. So whenever you run this program with your Java C command, so the dot class file will be created, which will be holding your bytecode. So go to the project, go to the out in your IntelliJ and go to uh, the implicit class, which is my project name and go to the first program and expand this. And well, this is the code that you can see the Java has actually created behind the scene. So you have a final class right now called first program created from your file name. And then you have an instance main method called void main. And you can see this read ln, everything are from this IO. This, these are all static methods, part of this IO class. And there goes the import. So the importing and everything happened automatically by Java only. And that's the final code. And obviously, you know, I think this bytecode doesn't have the constructor and all, but you know, internally Java will also create constructor for your class as well. You cannot see that, but that will actually happen. Okay, if you want me to see that, I can run a Java P command on top of this file and you can see that maybe I can do that, right? And also some people think internally to run this kind of program, Java is creating a main method and then they are creating the instance of first program and then calling this main method inside the original main method. But we cannot see any main method over here because this is the dot class file of the bytecode, right? So maybe what we can, we can see, let's just see the bytecode one more time because this is the IntelliJ version of the bytecode that we can see from this out production first program. 
Okay, so let's just close this bytecode. Let's just uh, do one thing. Let's just open our terminal and I'm inside my implicit class right over here, right? So let's just do a ls. So I'm inside the src folder. So this is the root folder. Now let's just go to this first program, which is a dot class file or a bytecode. Let's just see what we have inside it using a java p command on this dot class file. So let's just copy the path. So I'm gonna do copy path and I'm gonna copy this path. Okay, so now I'm gonna do java p dash c and I want to see the version, the compiled version of the first program dot class. Okay, you can see this is how your dot class file looks like and you can see the first program over here and it's a final class and you actually see the constructor code over here, right? So internally the Java is creating the constructor which is your default constructor and then you got your main method which is void main and internally as you can see inside this compiled version we don't have any public static void main wala main method, right? We don't have that main method over here. So maybe whenever Java is bootstrapping or launching this particular program behind the scene it might be having the main method and maybe they are calling this main method that we are defining over here, we doesn't have any public and static over here. Maybe that main method is getting called internally, right? So this is good. So this is a new feature. And right now you can actually make somebody learn Java in just one minute because you don't have to tell him what is a class, what is encapsulation, what is static, uh, what is non-static, what is a package, what is public, what is private and all that, right? So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one till then bye bye take care and happy coding